Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have five new concept knives to share with you. We're gonna run through them really quickly. And the first one is gonna be what I'm calling the upgraded version of the concept Main Street. Would you look at it? Just look at it. And the reason I'm calling it an upgrade is because they've done a couple things that have made a great knife even that much greater, <laughs> even that much better. And the first thing I'll show you is this right here. The amount of room for sharpening and the ease of sharpening without having to scrape up against the plunge grind. So that is a huge improvement. Secondary is the obvious. Look at here. Now we have a crossbar lock, which is even quicker in and out of the pocket and arguably a much more secure lock on a knife and I'll show you why first of all when you get this one out of your pocket just like any other liner lock it's not a problem you flick it open then you use it then you turn it sideways you disengage it shut it then you put it back in your pocket whereas with the crossbar lock you take it out of your pocket your hands not moving or having to manipulate the knife sideways you're ready for your grip once you get done with your cut then it's back in your pocket. So it's a little quicker, it's a little more seamless, and I've noticed on a knife, a pocket knife, that I use more, if I'm getting in and out of my pocket a lot more, that a crossbar lock is very conducive to quickly in and out of the pocket. Also, you're gonna have a stronger lock face. You can see right here that you have an entire 100% lockup, and the lockup on this is solid. There is no wiggle room, left or right, up or, up or down. <laughs> Up or down. Whereas this one, it still has a fantastic lockup. I have no wiggle left or right, up or down. It has good lockup. It's centered and everything. It's just, it's an extra step. And I do appreciate this upgrade. And by the way, the upgrade, I'm calling it the upgrade. It's still called the Concept Main Street. There's at least seven different versions. And all the knives I'm getting ready to show you in this video, there are multiple versions. Some of them have 13. Some of them have like 20 different versions. So I will put my link and I have a discount code to all of these knives I'm showing you. Of course, the link will be in the comment section and in the description of this video. So it's not hard to find the links to go check them out and get 10% off. But this is the new Main Street. I love it. The action and the ergos are just, I want to say flawless because they're just perfect. It fits your hands so well. There are no hot spots. And this, this, the way this is designed, your thumb comes across here for easy push cuts, draw cuts, utility cuts are perfect. And I would say that most everyday tasks that people do, you end up needing a point. And a lot of times if you have an upswept blade, it's not conducive to opening package, packages or just everyday kind of carry things. So that's why I always appreciate a Warncliffe blade. I don't always have to have a, such a pointy, oh pointy blade, but I really do appreciate having one. That's why a blade like this and a knife like this with such ergos is so good. Now here's one thing. It is not a reversible pocket clip, so that would be a drawback. I do like the clip. This clip is a little easier to get in and out of your pocket because you have a little bit more of a lip, even though it does not affect the ergonomics whatsoever. I think one improvement they could have made here is to have flat screws. That way you wouldn't have any chances of uh, getting caught on your pocket, but I ha have not had any issues with this one. There's still ample room to get in and out of the pocket. And for the price, it's 154 CM blade steel. This one here is stone. Stone wash has a very good stone wash on it. And these run around 78, 79 bucks, but you gotta figure you gotta take another, what, seven, eight dollars off of that. So that's gonna be a very good deal for the Main Street. Next up is, oh <laughs> yeah, a primo version of the Concept Shard. Would you look at that? I mean, just look at it. It is so gorgeous. You have stone wash titanium with a lightning anno. Oh, look at that. Lightning anno, and maybe not the whole thing sometimes, but just having it going down through the center like this, and it is seamless. You cannot feel the transition from the titanium to the anodized part. Oh, it looks so good. This is a frame lock. You do have a steel lock bar insert, and check out the pocket clip. More of that lightning anno. Oh, love me some anodized titanium. It's just such a good look, such a good accent. And you have S35VN for your blade steel. And up here, you have jimping. One drawback for me would be that the jimping does not complete around the flipper tab, or at least all the way to the very tip. So that would be one drawback or one small nitpick in my opinion. You ready to see this blade? Pow! 
Oh, right in the kisser. Oh, yes. I've shown the shard. We gave away a shard a few weeks ago. We give knives away every Friday night here. Bees Blades, live at the Hive. Oh, right. Don't miss it. Every Friday night, 8.15 to around midnight. Come and hang out with us. We do giveaways. We talk about food. Mrs. Bees comes down. You get to see the puppy. Sometimes the cat. We have a lot of fun. But anyway, back to the knife. The concept shard is just a dreamy, dreamy knife. It's more of a gents, more of a ladies carry. If you like to have a little more primo, if you're a knife aficionado, or if you're a knife collector like me, then you can really appreciate such a good looking knife. I mean, take this to the steakhouse. Oh yeah. It doesn't have a ton of room down here for sharpening, but I don't see this being used as a work knife. This is a piece of pocket jewelry, if you will. But it it is perfectly set up to be used for tougher tasks that has great lockup. The blade is centered. It is, oh, it's a strong one. It has a flat grind, very good looking blade. You can't really reverse flick it or use, the only thing I would say you can use this thumb hole for is maybe to do a slow roll open like this. But the, the deal with me personally is if I have any pressure on this lock bar, I'm not able to open it using that hole. So that hole is gonna turn out to be more aesthetics because I'm, uh, well, wait a minute, I'm, <laughs> I'm correcting myself. If you put your finger all the way down at the bottom of this of this fuller right here, you can actually reverse flick it. So I just ate my words. But me, traditionally, I tend to put my finger up higher. So when it's up there, I'm pushing down on the lock bar and it's not happening. So this is reverse flickable as long as you use the farthest portion down here on that filler tab. So that gives you multiple options. The whole action on it is so smooth. It, and it has that hydraulic feel. You don't feel anything moving around in there. You don't feel the ceramic ball bearings in there moving around. It is absolutely just a gorgeous, dreamy knife. This is one to, to set up and have in your display case and also just as usable. And besides that, you know, if push comes to shove and you really need to open up a bag of mulch, the reverse, the reverse grip on this works fantastic. So that is the concept shard. These run, th there's many different versions. This one in particular will run you around $199, which means you can get 20 bucks off with my discount code. So that's not too shabby. Now, next up we have the concept shikari. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't have to say what you look at it. I know you're looking at that bad boy. Stonewashed titanium frame, Timascus scales. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's so dreamy. I can't help it. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Another looker. You ready to see this blade? Pow, right in the kisser. Ooh, yeah. Now that one is not messing around. This one is a button lock and a very smooth button lock. And you have more of a harpoon -y, you know, everybody needs a little more poon, right? A little bit of harpoon action. So the art, the ergonomics on this one are just as great. There are zero hot spots. Nothing hits your hand. It just, when you put your hand in the last three that I've shown you so far, it just fits your hand like a glove. And look at this, this ramp, is per perf as my wife would say, parfait. It is perfection. It would be really cool for me if this jimping, which is done well, went all the way up to the top of this poon, which would just lock you in place. And then showing you the button, here's a look at your button. It's just barely, barely coming out on top of the scales and the action on it is just as equally buttery smooth. I have one main nitpick, maybe I have two nitpicks. One is smaller, one is a little bit bigger. One is give me a little more sharpening choil. But then again, I'm back to the whole point of if you have this knife, you're probably not hard using it to the point where you're gonna be sharpening it all the time. So that would be a small thing. My other thing would be is if concept would adapt or adopt the idea or the principle of putting jimping on the flipper tab. This flipper tab is slick. It, my finger does not want, I have to commit my finger to flip it out. That is my biggest nitpick with this knife is that if I want to flick it, my finger is slipping off unless I really commit. Using the button is an easy way of deployment. It is very, very smooth to use. Oh yes, I mean this, this is definitely a primo button lock knife and I like the looks of it. It's, it's definitely one that you want to show off to your family and your friends and the people that aren't knife nuts so then you get to post <laughs> You get to post on your social media. It does have a lanyard hole right here and it has a titanium backspacer. You have a titanium milled pocket clip, which is very nice, very nice. And it is sturdy. So with this one, I think it's a great knife. I just 
prefer that it had some jimpage on there, especially if you're not, your fingers are slickery like mine are at the moment. Now here's one thing about the Shikari. This is something that Concept does. You can get these for like $79 up to $300, depending on which version you choose. There's that many options. This one here is an S35VN. You have all the fanciness on this one, but then you can go down to $79 for the same blade design, the same look, the same great ergonomics. There's 15 different variants the last time I looked of the Concept Shikari. SBL. Next up we have, oh yes, this is the one people have been doting over, the Concept Tuckamore or Tuckamore. <laughs> the concept Tuckamore. Would you look at it? Just look at it. All of its green Tuckamoreness. There's four different versions of this one that you can get. And this is stonewashed titanium with carbon fiber inlay. And you know what? I am really digging this green. Oh, I'm just loving it. And then the, the transition between the titanium and the carbon fiber is about as seamless as it gets. The carbon fiber is maybe just a little bit higher than the titanium. And this is a nested frame lock, which is very nice, which means you're gonna have a great lock up. And look at look how fancy they went. They brought this up like a like a green lava flow all the way around the pivot. I love how they did that. It added an extra accent, made it look very nice. You have a titanium mill clip, and you ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ho ho. Another Warncliffe blade, and check this out. The Ergos are fantastic on this knife. They nailed it. Every one of these knives I've shown you so far, the Ergos are so good. I mean, they're that good. This fits my hand like a glove. You have plenty of room. Extra large hands, you have plenty of room. You do have a little bit of forward area right here for doing a little cutting, but this is gonna be such a good draw cut knife. So good for opening packages and everyday things. Great for cutting up stuff, cutting up food. I mean, well, you know knives are great for cutting up stuff, right? Now here's the kicker on this one. Guess what the blade steel is? CPM 20 CV, baby. Yeah, you heard me. You heard me with a little bit of 20 CV going on. Such a good looking knife. This is a Jonathan Styles design. And I, I have to say, Jonathan Styles, this is a fantastic design. It looks so good. The pastor, you have just perfect, the perfect amount of pass through to get in there. It is easy to disengage. It has that buttery feel to it. Let, just listen. It has such a good engagement and it is, it's a drop shutty knife right out of the box. I don't have any real complaints about this knife. You're good for sharpening. The jimping is pretty good. If I had to nitpick, I would say give me more aggressive jimping. This jimping, my finger just kind of slides across. It's not really locking me in, but you're locked in right here with this cutout. Just makes your hand stop right on the knife get you in there, you're good to go for cutting. At the very most, on a push cut, on a downward motion, I can start to feel the pocket clip. But I don't see this being used as a hard use knife. It's another collector's knife. But it's gonna be able to put up with a lot. You have a good lockup on it. It is also centered. This is a fantastic knife, the Concept Tuckamore, and I'm excited about this one. You can get these in different ranges, anywhere from 179 to 224, and then don't forget, you're gonna get 17 to 24 bucks off if you're using my discount code. So that makes it even that much more, and it is very easy to reverse flick left-handed because of the way that the lock bar is. Your finger can rest outside here, and it doesn't get in the way for lefties. So if you like, if you like to flip and flick with your left hand while you're clicking the mouse with your right hand, then uh, this might be a good one that you might enjoy. And last but not least, we have the newest version, one of the newest versions of the Concept Reverie. Would you look at it? I mean, just look at it. I'm, are you ready for this? There are 25 different color variations and versions from budget to premium of the Concept Reverie. Here's, a, here's an example of one that I did last year. This one has CPM S35 VN steel, so this one's gonna cost you a little bit more. They've got this one, and the, the new one's out, and this is G10, very nice looking G10, and of course, it's red and black, Bees Blades colors. This is 154 CM, and by the way, if you're not a big fan of top flippers, check it out. They did the jimping 
perfect. I mean, that is perfect jimping. Your finger does not slip off. It is easy to flip over top with your index finger or with your thumb. And this is a more, more of a classic style look. If you like the classic style knives, you know, the kind of more have that slip joint look, but it's not a slip joint and it's more modern. This might fit your fancy. This has 154 CM blade steel, and these are going to run you 60 something with my discount. And I love the action on it. It doesn't have a whole lot of room for sharpening down here, but it has a nice, a nice tallish flat grind. It's a flat grind. It's thin behind the edge. It has good blade geometry. I like the looks of this bolster look right here. It has very good texture. And by the way, did I give you some texture vision? How about a little bit of texture vision for you? And there's not a ton of access to the lock bar. However, the lock bar has the right amount of aggression, so it's not difficult to disengage. It is easy to disengage. And that is something that's always a big deal for me that I pay attention to. It does not have a reversible clip. It is a deep carry clip. I would have preferred that they use flat screws because flat screws are always better, less chance of something grabbing a hold of your pocket, but it has ample room and it has a nice spill right here to, to get in and out of your pocket. It is extremely lightweight and the ergos on this one are equally as good. Now, if I'm doing a push cut downwards, I can feel the pocket clip, but it's not hateful not a deal breaker in any sense of the imagination. This is a great knife. I really do like the Reverie. But here's two versions out of the like 25 to choose from. So there are some brand new concept knives for your viewing pleasure. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. Which one would you prefer to carry if you were carrying one? And tell me why. And then tell me what do you think about concept knives? What do you know about concept knives? What more would you like me to tell you about concept knives? I'd be happy to oblige. Now go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or the live streams, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.